I have been talking a lot about frost lately. We've had some cold nights and the perfect conditions to see frost developing outside. So what are those perfect conditions? Well, let's look at how frost forms. So during the day we get sunshine or at least more energy coming in and heat and that starts to build up at the surface and it's not just the heat that's building it's also moisture and all of that just above the surface above those blades of grass you see that just kind of addition of both elements during the day but at night especially when you have a clear sky and a light wind we get a process called radiational cooling and it basically just means that the energy that was here at the surface radiates back up and thus we cool down. It happens all the time at night, but it is intensified when you get the clear sky and the light winds. But as that temperature continues to fall, what little bit of moisture may be out there in the atmosphere starts to make its way to those grass blades and turns into ice. Now it's the process of deposition that's happening there in the atmosphere, but it's just the water freezing onto the blades of grass and we get what is frost. So the magic number in all of this, 32 degrees. Yeah, that's what it takes to get the frost out there. Obviously, the colder it gets, the more widespread the frost becomes. And it's not just on grass blades. You can see it out there on the windshield of your car. Maybe it's on your mailbox. But remember, frost is deposition. So it's one of those uh, different transfers of energy in the atmosphere. I mean, we have water that evaporates. You can have water that precipitates out of a cloud, but whenever it goes from vapor in the atmosphere to ice, it's that process of deposition. So that's how frost forms. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you back here again tomorrow morning.